Hi friends, it's Quenby, Grateful Queen here on YouTube. And today I have a video for you that is both a thrift haul and a thrift with me video. This is from last Saturday where I went out with my partner Peter to three different thrift stores and we kind of shopped till we dropped. I was pretty selective in the items that I picked up to resell on eBay and Poshmark. So I'm gonna show you what I chose to get. And also I'm gonna take you into the stores so you can see what my thrift stores look like, how they're pricing things. I'm gonna show you things that I passed on and tell you why, and then also show you what I brought home to resell. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller. I shop at thrift stores and yard sales. I do a little retail arbitrage. I buy things to resell for profit on eBay and Poshmark, and this channel is all about my process of reselling. I really hope that it inspires you to shop secondhand and love bargain shopping, maybe even resell yourself. So if you like that kind of content, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button on your way out. Okay. So I went to three different stores. The first store is a local thrift store that I really like to support because they help people in recovery. They're a nonprofit and they send out an, a text notification saying 40% off blowout winter sale. So I was all geared up and ready to go. But when I got there, it was a little disappointing you guys because only certain things were on the winter blowout sale, mostly jackets. And I'm not really sourcing for jackets right now. So I just chose a few things um, to resell and a couple things to keep myself. I will insert a stock photo for items like this that I found a stock photo for. This is a Free People beach item. And Free People has so many lines. They've got We the Free, New Romantics, Intimately Free People. So there are a lot of tags to learn, but this is Free People Beach. I got this because it was 40% off of $9.99. So I paid just over $5. And it's got a, it's called the Cocoon Cowl Neck. It's a lightweight sweatshirt with this cool drapey neckline, kind of a longer length, super soft gray. And I'll put this on Poshmark maybe in like the $30 range. Um, it was really tempting to keep this one because it's like perfectly distressed, perfectly comfortable, but also stylish. I like that. This one I am keeping, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway. This is a really current free people piece right now. I'll show you the tag on this one. It's the little bar. This is a size um, extra small. I have several of these oversized free people thermals with a balloon sleeve. I have several of these for sale in my Poshmark closet now. I just sold one for $40 that I picked up at the TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. If you haven't seen that video that I did, the most recent one, I'll pop them up here. I got some really great stuff. Um, that has been selling for me on Poshmark when I did some yellow tag clearance retail arbitrage at the TJ Maxx sale. This piece I'm going to keep for myself because it's really my colors, but these are really popular. So if you see these, you might want to consider picking them up for resale. These balloon sleeves with the different patterns and the kind of mixed media textures and prints are really popular right now. I just love this top. I paid $12.99. That might've been a little much if I was planning on reselling it, but for myself, I had no problem with that. Okay, I will insert a stock photo of this. This is a Free People long open knit cardigan. It's a medium. They wanted $20, but I got it for 40% off because it's such a gorgeous, substantial piece. And I think because of the light coloring, this could still be worn in spring and summer. 
It's very long with an asymmetrical hem, lots of intentional fade and distress. And look at these um, colored stitching details in the back as well. I mean, this is just a really gorgeous piece and the stock photos look really good. So I'll put this over on Poshmark. And um, so I paid what, 40% off of 20, over $10. But um, my guess is this retailed really high, probably at like 168 or something. So I'll probably put it up there around 60 and see how it does. It's even got a tassel belt. So this is like total boho perfection. This is one of these lightweight pet puffer jackets and it's in this gorgeous rose gold color. I actually got this for myself again. The brand is Uniqlo. I've sold a few things by them. I sold a couple sweaters by them. This winter, I do pass on it a lot. I don't think it's a brand people necessarily look for, but they do have really great styles. This is just one of those super lightweight puffer jackets, and I got a vest like this by the same brand, and I was searching for a jacket, so I, I got the vest um, when I was outsourcing for the business. And it's, I love it. They're super lightweight, but they're really warm, and everybody here in Northern California, where I live, they have these. So I was looking online for a jacket myself you guys and they're so expensive even online secondhand this is going to be like 50 dollars. so i'm so glad i found one if you see these and they're in great shape pick them up for resale because um people love them they're great to travel with they're really warm uh really lightweight and they're still really expensive okay i want to talk to you about this next brand so this brand is frame frame is like one of these hot trendy brands right now. They're known especially for their denim. Their denim retails for over $300 for a pair of jeans. Um, I have not been picking them up, however, because they've been sitting for me a little bit on posh. So I've got several pairs of frame denim priced in like the $75 range and they haven't sold. So I'm being really careful. Now, as I say this to you, I realize this weekend I actually sold a pair of frame denim jeans for $50, a free owned pair, but my other stuff has been sitting, so I'm going to be more selective with what higher end denim brands I'm picking up, because although I love them and they do sometimes sell and they do draw attention to my Poshmark closet and get a lot of likers and watchers and all that, they're not necessarily moving quickly. The things that are moving quickly for me are like American Eagle Outfitters and even Old Navy Jeans and Pilcro and some of the more common brands actually sell more quickly for me. But I bought this for several reasons. Okay, $8.99, 40% off. Amazing brand frame. The size is a large and this is a 100% linen button down top. So Come spring, I'm going to be looking for everything linen, especially to put in my eBay store. Linen sells so well for me in the spring and summer months, especially on eBay. I haven't experimented with it too much on Posh, you guys, but on eBay, I put lag and look in the title. I put 100% linen and it sells. So I start looking for everything linen around now to get it ready in my eBay store. So that's a tip for you. Look for linen. Sometimes it doesn't even matter the brand. Look for linen wide leg drawstring pants especially, and those will sell between 20 and 50 depending on brand and size, like crazy in spring and summer. This also has a raw, um, raw intentionally raw frayed hem, so that's a really cool style detail. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on eBay or Posh. I did find a stock photo, I'll insert it here for you. Um, start getting your linen ready. My hair is caught on the hanger. Should I leave this blooper in or should I edit it out? What do you think? Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit it, punch it. Okay, so here's a look at some of the things I did take home. And here we are sorting through and trying on some of our finds. I wanted this top so much. It was We The Free, another thermal top with some great patchwork on it. But it was $24.99 because it was new with tags and they wouldn't go any lower on that one. I was kind of bummed out.
Okay, you guys, my first time finding Free Bird. Keep your eye out for that brand. These were too much at $34.99 for resale. And another really great brand coming up here, which is Bed Stew. Love these distress leather boots, but again, $34.99 too much. Okay, so that was all from that one store. Then we went to another store. It was um, like a church fundraising store. The prices were a little high, you guys. I'll put some footage in here. I mean... I saw like a Chico's denim jacket with an older Chico's tag for like 25 bucks. I get it's for charity. I definitely want to support it. I'm willing to pay more than usual in that case, in that circumstance, but that's like too expensive. Okay, I definitely love a $1 rack. And then here's this um, charity thrift store. Some cute pieces, kind of a smaller shop, but some cute pieces. The prices were just a little high for resale. Like this Chico's jacket, denim jacket for $25. And this is another piece I would consider. The brand is Joie, soft by, for Joie, but it was um, $8.50, just too expensive. This was a Target piece for $9.50. And a J. Jill piece for $9.75. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what I did get though. I like this soft surroundings. That's the newer soft surroundings tag, but this is new. It still has the bag, the little extra sequin bag and the um, tassels are tied up in paper. There's a stock photo here of this dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got these sheer bell sleeves tons of embroidery and little maras and yes i say maras i'm originally from boston i've been living here for 20 years and i still have boston accent on a handful of words anyway this is just gorgeous i paid 15 dollars. yikes that is way too much to pay so at first i just left them on the rack i was like this is gorgeous it's new it's what the brand's known for they're known for their tunics and their prints um, if this was an, a bigger size, it would have been a no brainer, but since it's a size small, I just wasn't sure if I should pay up for it. So I left it on the rack for a while. Then I went back with my phone and I looked up, these are listed in the $60 range on eBay right now. So I'm hoping I can turn my 15 into at least 50. And you know how it is with a piece that you love? Like I love this soft surroundings piece. I'm going to want to list it. I'm going to want to share it. Um, it's really just an absolutely stunning dress. Do not try it on, Quimby. Do not try it on. This one's also soft surroundings. This one was eleven fifty, size small. Another, another silky lightweight beaded tunic with all this um, embellished um, sequined and stitching details. I mean, these things are so gorgeous. You can wear these to work, to a party, to the beach, to the resort. I mean, look at the colors in that. It's just a really absolutely stunning piece. So I'm gonna try for around 50. It's a black size XL Eileen Fisher skirt of silk. So that is everything I'm looking for with Eileen Fisher. So here's the Eileen Fisher tag. I've gotten pickier with what I'm picking up for Eileen Fisher. It used to be I found this brand because it retails really high. It has a following. They're known for their classic pieces and their beautiful silhouettes and lines, real staple pieces. It just doesn't sell as hot as it used to. It still sells in the $30 range, but I'm more selective with, I'm not just picking up Island Fisher t-shirts and stuff anymore. This is everything. Their silk sells really well. Their silk pants are their best-selling pants. So if you're out there shopping and you see Eileen Fisher silk pants, pick them up. You can probably get $40 for a pre-owned pair. So this is silk. XL is a very large size for the brand. Eileen Fisher runs big. I always put my measurements in because I'm probably like an extra small as a size 10 in Eileen Fisher. This is an XL black skirt, pretty simple, beautiful silk piece, but it probably measures more like a 1X. So I'll put my measurements in. I'm going to put this one up high. Probably I'll check comps, but probably like 70 bucks with best offer on eBay. My Matrobia brands go over on eBay. A few pieces from the last store. Again, another um, another church thrift store. Their prices were pretty high. Um, I was able to pick and find a few decent things. 
Okay, thrift store number three, 50% off green tags. I found a couple things. Some jeans for my son, which I don't have in this video. And then this was fun, you guys. They were having 50% off their designer jeans. So look at the brands that they have on their designer list. Pilcro for $15. BDG is just Urban Outfitters. Frame is definitely a designer, but I even passed on it. They're just not selling so great for me. J Brand. They have some Eileen Fisher jeans coming up, but they were $20, so even at half price, I passed on that. You'll see these in the haul. Definitely a brand I'm picking up lately. The work of a reseller flipping through every rack looking for treasures. And then here I am doing my quality control, just looking for flaws, making last minute decisions about price. These jeans are seven for all mankind. I don't pick up seven for all mankind anymore. I've been selling on eBay for eight years, Poshmark for two. When I first started, I would buy any seven for all mankind jeans and they would sell, they were so hot. Not so much for me anymore. I pass on them all the time. Okay, so here's the seven for all mankind. The only reason I bought these is because of the pockets here. These are the Dojo. Dojo still sells really well. Um, these are a size 25, so they're small, but I checked on Poshmark and they're going between 40 and 65, even for the small. These ones have a super wide bell bottom flare and you're looking for this specific pocket and you're looking for it to say Dojo. These were on their rack that said designer jeans, but they had these marked for $15, but they were 50% off, so I paid $7.50. If I can get $45 for these, I'm happy to pay $7.50. So don't buy all seven mankind jeans. Check comps and see which ones are selling well and which ones are worth like nothing. This is a really fun one for me. You know, I just never thought I'd be buying this brand and seeking it out and like paying up for it, but I am, and here's why. These are American Eagle Outfitters. These are a Junior's brand, but they sell so well on Poshmark for like $25. I'm fine making $25 on Poshmark, plus the buyer has to pay $7 shipping and taxes. Um, so, you know, they're looking at like 30, 35 bucks for a pair of jeans, but they're expensive at the stores and they are selling so fast for me right now, you guys. So, um, would I buy every pair of American Eagle? No, it has to be a current style. And these are the mom jean. So mom jeans are popular right now. They have a high rise. They're, um, they're a little more roomy. And this pair has um, all this gorgeous embroidery on it. So yes, I'll put these on for 30 on Posh. I'll probably send out offers for 25 and they'll probably sell you guys in like a week. So keep your eye out for American Eagle jeans if you're okay selling things in the $25 range. Make sure they're a current style. Make sure they're high waist or they're um, skinny or super distressed or destroyed or something. This, uh, is this not the most gorgeous top to you guys? I really wish I could wear this and take it on vacation with me. Um, but I just, I wear like neutrals. I'm like a black gray. If it's a print, it's like subtle or a rust color or something. But I think this is gorgeous. It feels like silk, but I think it's just poly. And the brand on this is Loft and I bought it. Loft sells great for me, but I bought it because it was $5 and I was just like in love with it. Like, I love this top so much. Someone else is gonna love this top so much. For summer, I mean, it's really just gorgeous. So five bucks, I'll probably put it up for like 25 or something like that. If I don't wear it myself. I mean, could I pull this off you guys? What do you think? Got this gorgeous J Crew dress comps on this are great I got it because it was half off so it was um 
15 bucks, half off, $7. That's a little high. It's a J. Crew size 10, and it's a gorgeous cocktail dress. And I did find stock photos, so I'll put one up for you now. Stock photo of this gorgeous silky dress. This would be so good for any kind of event a party, a wedding, a date night. It feels amazing. If you enjoyed this thrift with us video, I personally love to watch videos where I see what other people's thrift stores look like, what brands they have, what things are priced at. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something from the stuff that I chose to pick up to resell on eBay and Poshmark. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate it guys and I'll see you in the next video.